Yeah, how you going? Hey, um, Russell, I was wanted to just quickly go through and explain this as a video and hopefully with a bit of pictures and words we can sort of get through. So myself and a few other customers are using Google Apps for business, okay? It's our five dollar a month account, um, what I'll call yada yada yada. Yeah, so we're gonna have multiple email addresses as the same email. Now we've got, you know, for this discussion, myself at vuente.com, we've got support at vuente.com, and into the future, no doubt, we'll have others. So let's say that's Google. And we've got the CRM, which we'll come across to here. And the CRM is, basically it's got a, I'll, I'll come backwards, and I'll go to settings. So we have here, we have the ability to um, set up both our in and outgoing mail, okay? So, so outgoing and we can have incoming mail as well, incoming outgoing servers. And we can also have an alias in this system. Now, when I say that we've got an alias, if we start to actually, I'll go back here, and I want, and I hope I don't, please bear with me as I, try and get my head around everything to communicate to you. So, if we go into here, oh, there it was there, sorry. See here we can have an alias domain. Now, I'm not sure how that connects up with Google Apps and what we might have to do engineering or technical development wise, or whether you can do this as from an implementation. If we come through to projects, and we start to have a look at the project. The project can have an email alias happening. Okay, so it becomes this email, blah, 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 blah. And what we really ideally are aiming for, that when an email comes into this alias, it will actually populate into our messenger box here. Okay, but I'm speculating, and I know that this isn't necessarily yourself, but I'm suggesting that we will actually see, um, I just have to find that, but, but let's just say that this was a messenger and there'd been, actually that might be there. So there'd be emails coming in through here and you know it'd start to be sort of communicating a message. So I hope that makes sense. It's how do we tie our app CRM to work relatively seamless with Google Apps. All right, mate, I hope you're well, and here's to successful 2017. Thanks for your time. Bye.